from the start box. Okay. Definitely one who is more than capable of catching that Absolutely. time. Absolutely, Boyd, the maestro Martin, won this event the last time I came down to, to do it, um, which was in Wellington two years ago, I think. He won it on the great Welcome Shadow, Gloria Callan's really cool mare. And now he's got another great mare in Christine Turner's Kira. And this one, she's a great jumping horse. She can be a little bit unreliable, though. So hopefully as Boyd gets the pace up there, the mare steps up and holds her jump. Well, not only did Boyd Martin win that showcase with Welcome Shadow, he won the Wellington Showcase all three years that it ran. Yeah, what a, what a boss. This guy's in it, for, in it for gold again, I bet. But this mare is careful. One, two, three, four, five. And you can just see that on the look on her face. She is yeah. just. She's not getting herself into any trouble, is she? No, and keenly aware of those crowds. Yep. When we talk about how valuable it is for, for horses like this to be able to come here and get some of this exposure. And Boyd's flying around our tent here as he goes to the big John Deere table. He cannot afford to add a single second over the optimum time if he wants to stay ahead of Felix Vogg and Colero. They are our new provisional leaders. We are counting our way down in reverse order. Liz Halliday, Sharp, and Fernhill by night. Our two phase leaders will be the last pair to leave the start box. And I gotta think Boyd's gonna jump the left corner, especially now that he knows the yes. time can be done. Good ride by Boyd, using his experience there to just guide the mare through it when she had a little bit of a peak in that last stride to the corner. Taking plenty of time here, turning back to this bank. He's giving this mare a super ride. Great shot there into the water. Boyd will be putting on a show for the crowd and his wife, who I know is here watching him with his two little boys. I saw little Noxie coaching his dad with his mom <laughs> yesterday in, in dressage, so the world's got to watch out for another Martin someday in this sport, it looks like. Setting up for that table, just making sure he gets the pace just right for this careful mare. And Boyd's flying. This mare's really opening up well. Yeah, he's such, such a master cross-country rider he's so soft and allowing in the way he goes cross-country and a so really, balanced really natural guy to watch right two three four five and he got boyd you can see it in his face a little panic there <laughs> the mare came back a little too well and he thought oh shoot we better get down there on the five good ride to the gate there and then just right back up in that rhythm We've had seven catch that time of four minutes and 12 seconds. Good ride there through the, the hedges. And this has got to be inside the two time too, Jenny. He he's looks like he's having a canter now, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he has an out of bed fence. He should be all right. Boyd electing not to run his other two horses, thinking that this mare is his best shot at the doe, which from the looks of it is the case. And he's just let the pace off here. He looks like he's quite comfy with where he's at. Oh, oh Boydie. Always the showman Always salutes the, the showman. crowd. Boyd the Maestro Martin, I'm assuming a nice double clear. Cantering across the finish, waiting to confirm that time, but we are guessing safely inside. Boyd saying, watch and learn, boys and girls, watch and learn. So big hats for Kira as Boyd Martin completes with a smooth, slick, clear round. Very nice ride from Boyd. Our super groom, Stephanie Simpson, taking the mare. We'll get Joni to catch up with Boyd for a word on what he thought about the course here in his hometown of Aiken. I know he's got a lot of supporters here to watch him. Sounds like his little boy can is hear there waiting the to high five him. <laughs> hey, Boyd, great job. Talks uh, th through your Give first kiss, Jones. Your first cross country round of Bruce's Field. What was that like? Oh, it's an absolute privilege to be here. It's uh, Fantastic to see uh, so many spectators, and uh, yeah, that horse gave me a great round. So.
You've been involved with organizing this event, I know. So what's it like to finally see it come to fruition? Uh, it's, it's brilliant. Like, it's, uh, you know, it's a dream come true for us riders to get in front of a big crowd. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're really, uh, really happy. Thank you. Come here, fella. <laughs>